Hi guys, it's Mrs. Connolly. I'm here today to show you how to use a free design software called Canva. You're going to be able to use them today to start working on your manifesto assignments, but you'll be able to use Canva hopefully later for lots of other assignments we have here in class. Let me show you how it works. Start off by going to Google and then you're just going to type in Canva. When you get to Canva, all you have to do is <clears throat> go to canva.com and you can actually sign in with your Google account. When you go to log in, it says Canva will let you view your email. Canva wants to view your email address, view your basic profile. That's fine. And then you just click allow. And then it takes you to your page. So I'm going over to Canva here um, with my account and I'm jumping over to Chrome real quick because that's where I have my Canva account. And it'll have something where you have your designs, your stream, your design school. Typically when you log in for the first time you'll have all of these different choices. So you'll see here if you want to create a design. As I scroll over these you'll notice that the pixels um, and the size are right down below. So as you go over the different ones, you can see what the different sizes are and things like that. You can click on more if you want, and you'll see here that there are all different types that you can create. There's social media posts, there's documents, there's marketing materials, and when you scroll over all of these, again, it shows you the sizes, or sometimes, like if we go back up here to documents, you can see the pixel size. So for this project, I think the best one we can use is this presentation one right here. So if I were to click on the presentation style, what you'll see here is you have some different options. You can upload different things from your, um, from your computer or from the website. So you can see here, these are different projects I've worked on where I've uploaded different images. You can use different um, background images that they have. One of the things you should pay attention to are see where it says free. Some of these background images are free. Those are the ones that I use. But there's other ones when you go down that cost money. Like some of these you can see cost a dollar. And I'm sure there's ones that cost more than that. I don't ever use the ones that cost money because you could always upload your own images. And when you upload your own images, they're free. One of the other things you can do is you can use one of their layouts. So these layouts, when you use them, you are able to modify them. But again, some of them cost money. So these first six seem to be free, but then these here, these all cost money. So they look really cool. And if you want to pay for it, that's fine. But for our purposes, we're going to use the free ones. And what we're going to be doing today is creating our manifesto you saw some of the manifesto examples from our assignment. So you can see here, I think this purple one would be a really cool way to start because it's already got different images and different um, sizes in here. So one of the things I had done is I created a brainstorming sheet. So you may have a brainstorming sheet where you have all these little phrases that you've put together. So let's say one of my phrases is, I'm just gonna start taking some of these phrases and all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste them from my Word doc. You can also copy and paste them from a Google doc. And then I'm going to come back. And you'll notice what I can do here is I can just leave this. If I like do what you love, I can leave it there. I can highlight these other boxes and I can just control paste. I believe in the power of love. That was one of the statements. So I can take this and these boxes, you can move them wherever you want to go. So you can see here, I just move it around till it's going to let me move it. Um, and then what you're going to do, I can turn it. I can do anything I want with these boxes here, right? So if I just want to move it, maybe this, I want this up in the top. Maybe I like it this size or if I highlight it, let me highlight it here. I can make it bigger. And then all I have to do on these boxes is I can move it over so I can have it on one side. Then I can go back and I can just copy and paste again. 
go back to my Canva page, <clears throat> and then I can get more. And then again, here I am, I can copy and paste. So if I look up here, the size I used on this one was 21. I can go down here and I can stretch this and I can make this one 21. If I decide that I want to do this, I can make this one 21 as well. Let's see what I can do. I can change it so that it all fits. And I can put this up here if I want and I can try to move this around so it's right below so that my I believes should be lining up if they're the same size. And now I can just take some time going back and forth, copying and pasting, adding new words, changing fonts, adding new text boxes, and doing all kinds of things, and basically building my manifesto. And this is what that would look like. You'll see that it's just a matter of taking time to put your information in, change up some colors, change up fonts, sizes, and you actually can create a pretty cool manifesto. This one here took me about 30 minutes and I've just sped it up for you to see. When you finish making your manifesto, all you have to do is click on download. When you click on download, you're going to get two different options. Save the image for the web, download the image for a PNG file. You can also do PDF if you want or PDF for print, but for our purposes, you might as well just save it as a JPEG file. So when you click the JPEG, it saves your design, and it tells you your design is ready. Then you get to choose what you want to name your project, where you want to put it, and you click Save. All you'll have to do then is upload your manifesto JPEG to the Google Slides and you're all finished. It's that simple.